Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to continue with our new chapter that is the accounting for not for profit earning organization. And today we are going to learn about some peculiar items. Okay, we are going to learn about some peculiar items that comes in the income and expenditure account. So before getting into that, uh, we should know what are the basic concepts involved in the income and expenditure account. So basically an income and expenditure account as we have learned in the first class that uh, income and expenditure account is just a picture of profit and loss account that we prepare in a profit earning organization. Okay, that is similar to that. So the qualities of the profit and loss account will be available or we can see that in the income and expenditure account also. So first of all, the first thing that we should know is that only current year items okay remember that only current year items will come in the income and expenditure account okay so if current year wala aega, previous wala, pichle saal wala nahi aega, next year wale items nahi aega, that will be deducted and will be removed from the income and expenditure account only and only I, transactions and items which are related to the current year the current year may uh milna chahiye ya current year se related hai, wohi aega. ओके लास्ट ईयर वाला पैसा जो इस साल मिला है उसको हम लोग हटा देंगे नेक्स्ट ईयर वाला पैसा इस साल एडवांस में मिल गया उसको भी हटा देंगे ओनली एंड ओनली करंट ईयर आइटम्स विल बी टेकन देन बोथ कैश एज वेल एज आउटस्टैंडिंग ड्यू अक्रूड ये सब के सब आइटम आएंगे जैसे रिसीव्स एंड पेमेंट अकाउंट में क्या था ओनली कैश आइटम यहां पे वैसा नहीं है यहां पे कैश भी आएगा आउटस्टैंडिंग एंड ड्यू आल्सो विल कम हियर ओके कैश बोथ कैश नॉन कैश ऑल विल ऑल द आइटम्स विल बी कमिंग हियर राइट द नेक्स्ट वन revenue items will come in the income and expenditure account only revenue item okay swift revenue item aayega yahan pe clear capital items will not come okay remember capital item will not come capital items nahi aata hai sirf is saal wala jo recurring items hote hain jo current year mein ek bar matlab sirf current year ka hi nahi balki ek saal mein बार बार रिपीट जो होता है उसी को हम लोग पकड़ेंगे बस ओके ओनली दूज आइटम्स विच विल बी रिपीटिंग इट्स दैट इज रिकरिंग आइटम्स विल बी कमिंग इन द इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट कैपिटल आइटम लाइक परचेज ऑफ एसेट देन डोनेशन रिसीव फॉर स्पेसिफिक पर्पस दोस थिंग्स विल नॉट कम इन द इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर अकाउंट ओके एंड वन मोर पॉइंट दैट यू शुड नो इज दैट ऑल इनकम विल बी प्लेस्ड इन द क्रेडिट साइड ऑल इनकम credit side okay and all expenditure all expenditure will be coming in the debit side okay your nominal account hota hai it is a nominal account remember that receipts and payment account is a nominal account that is why all income in the credit side all expenses in the all the expenditure expenditure in the debit side so this is the basic rules of income and expenditure account clear now we will be learning about the treatment of special items so there are some peculiar items which are specially found in the not for profit earning organization so how to treat that in the income and expenditure account okay so we'll start with subscription we'll learn about subscription how it is treated so subscription basically talks about the amount of money that a member pays for getting upgradation or to renew his membership in their organization hai ki nahi membership ko renew karne ke liye jo paisa diya jata hai usko subscription bola jata hai theek hai subscribe kiya hai sir services ko so here is a question let's start with that what is that as per the receipts and payment account for the year ended 31st of march 2015 the uh, the subscription received were 25,000 and additional information were as follows. Okay, receipts and payment account showed that we are having a subscription of 2,50,000. We have received a subscription of 2,50,000 as on 31st of March 2015. This shows that total amount of subscription that we have received on 31st of March 2015 is 2,50,000. Okay, the additional informations are like this: subscription outstanding on 1,4,2014 was 50,000. Where the subscription outstanding on 31st of March 2015 was 35,000. Subscription received in advance as on 1st of January 2014 was this much, that is 25,000. And subscription received in advance on 31st of March 2015 was 30,000. Okay, 
and are, in addition to that the information that is given is that ascertain the amount of income from subscription for the year ended 31st of march for the year 2014 15 and show how it will appear in the opening and the closing balance sheet okay we have to show uh, this the treatment of all these things in the opening and closing balance sheet also okay so before we get into it let me give give you the guidelines of how to treat it so first of all what you have to write income or expenditure whatever the item it is okay let's take it for income okay income received income received we are going to take it on the basis of income if it is expenditure also on the basis of that also you can do same thing okay the treatment will be this this formula will be applicable in both the case as per receipts and payment account rnp okay receipts and payment account okay income received as per receipts and payment account whatever the amount will be there i'm just marking it start okay this refers to the amount in a, with that what we will do we are going to add up there's something to be added something to be deducted what are the things to be added first of all add uh, income outstanding whatever the income is there income outstanding at the and or you can say income outstanding for the current year for the current year current year okay whatever the income is outstanding for the current year then coming to the next one again it will be add item add uh, income received in advance income received in advance in last year okay whatever the income you have received in advance in the last year that will be added because if it is it has been received last year that means it is the income of this year right last year ko advance matlab is saal ka paisa hai so that will be added and again last one will be any amount of money okay here we are going not going to take that that i will take in the case of expenditures there are some specific item to that we will be learning that so whatever the items will be there that will be added up here okay last we are going to add these items and now we are going to find out what are the items to be deducted okay what are the items to be deducted so in that what you have less first is subscription outstanding at the beginning of the year okay subscription outstanding at the beginning of the year you should remember that is not only that along with that you should remember that subscription subscription for last year received in this year okay these are the two things you should remember subscription for last year received in current year if it is last year subscription received in current year that will be deducted okay that will be deducted and remember that better to keep these items in the inner column okay why to keep it in inner column because it will be easy to um, calculate okay it will be very easy to calculate if we keep it in the inner column okay so we'll keep it in the inner column before taking it in the outer column okay then again the less, less item will be one more there there's one more less item that is subscription received in advance i'm taking subscription it should be it will be better if you take any income okay income that will be far better better than subscription it will be good if we take income 
it will give a clear picture otherwise student might be get, getting confused that whether there is what is subscription what is income what will be treatment with other other income then so i'm keeping it income so income refers to all the things okay here all the items of income as well as this will be applicable with expenditure also as we do i'll explain to you so in case of uh, subscription also you can apply in case of any outstanding item also like um, salaries and all expenditure also you can apply it okay i will show you how it will be applicable there so less here comes the less on less income received in advance in okay income received in advance okay income received in advance in current year Okay, income received advance in current year. Okay, so then we are going to get whatever the minus item will be there. This will be going as. better to keep it in the bracket uh. then the total will be coming here that is a minus figure Okay, that will be nothing but our subscription. Okay, this will be nothing but our subscription, total subscription for the current year. Total subscription for the current year. Okay. Total subscription for the current year. Okay, this will be how. Uh, this is how we are going to solve it. मतलब क्या होता है यहाँ पे देखो कि income जो भी receive हुआ है. Okay, again again I am mentioning subscription. Don't get confused. It is referring to any income. okay so sabse pehle kya hai just to try to understand income received as per receipts and payment account that is a total income whatever you have received okay total amount of the money from there what you will do we are going to add up those money which is related to current year but it is not yet received okay income outstanding for the current year okay whatever money we are going to receive for this year but is uh, but we have not received yet that we are going to add and again we are going to add the amount of advance that we received last year because if you have received last year that is relating to current year okay that is relating to current year if you want to specify you can specify here related to current year related to current year okay so all the items which are uh, received in the last year as advance and if it is relating to current year it will be added up after that we will get total subscription from here from that you have to deduct the income which or uh, or the amount of money which is related to last year okay if we have received in this year like suppose there might be 5000 rupees of last year which you are supposed to receive this year and if you have received whole of the 5000 then pura ka pura 5000 will be deducted from here but if it is like this that the uh, last year amount was 5000 you are you have received only 4000 You are supposed to receive five thousand, but you receive only four thousand. Then only four thousand will be deducted from here. So last year का जितना पैसा बाकी है उसमें से जो receive किया इस साल उतना ही minus करना है. अगर बता के नहीं दिया तो assume किया जाता है कि पूरा का पूरा receive हो गया है और पूरा का पूरा यहाँ से minus हो जाता है. If it is not mentioned that last year's money, how much you have received this year, no information is there that indicates that whole amount of last year has been received. So this 
whole amount will be deducted okay <clears throat> that is why i have mentioned this income outstanding at the beginning of the year if there is no information then whole of the income which is outstanding at the beginning of the year that will be deducted then at and at last we have to deduct the income which is received in advance in the current year the income received in advance in the current year so income received in advance in the current year will be deducted because it is it is again relating to next year current year advance means it is related to next year so it will be deducted so after that we are getting total income from current year okay this will be our information that we are going to show in the income and expenditure account okay income as per income as per income and expenditure account okay which will be called income as per income and expenditure account whatever the income is there okay if it is subscription so it will be subscription as per income and expenditure account if it is on some other income that will be some other treatment okay so uh, some other name will be there right so this is how it will be shown so now let's go to the practical question what is there treatment of subscription as per receipts and payment account for the year ended 31st of march 2015 the subscription was received 250000 clear that is the receipts and payment account pehla wala theek hai that is income received as per income receipts and payment account it is uh, 250000 additional information was given like this let's find out whatever will be the addition deduction we are going to make a note on that okay so let's find out one by one subscription outstanding on 1 4 you can see our current year ends on 31st march 2015 right so here it is told subscription outstanding at the beginning because 1 4 2014 is the beginning so beginning of the year was 50000 and let's see whether it is told that how much money we have received from that let's see subscription as of noon there is no information that means whole of 50000 has been related to last year okay uh, uh, has been received in this year okay relates to last year has been received this year so it will be deducted whole amount will be deducted why it will be deducted because it is related to last year okay it is related to last year and it is not told how much we are going to receive and also it will be deducted as a whole so then coming to the next one subscription outstanding on 31st march 2015 so current year outstanding this was last year's outstanding 14 2014 means beginning of the year that means last year's outstanding so uh, there are two treatments okay let me tell you uh, all the things because here we can see that it is told ascertain the amount of income from subscription Okay, I'll better show you one by one. Otherwise, you'll be confused. So uh, let's go one by one first. The subscription part, I have, I, I guess you have understood up to here. That subscription outstanding at the beginning of the year, it will be deducted at fifty thousand because of the reason that this whole fifty thousand is received in this year. How did we come to that conclusion? Because there is no other information whether it has been received this year or last year. Uh, sorry, uh, how much amount has been received this year? So that is why whole of the fifty thousand will be deducted. in the same way next year i'm ne sorry next point that is subscription outstanding on 31st march 115 of 35000 it is relating to current year outstanding so whole of this money will be added because this is current years outstanding so current year outstanding related to current year item so it will be added then coming to the next one subscription received in advance on 14204 that is last year's advance okay in the beginning of the year if you are saying that means last year's advance was 25000 So obviously it is relating to current year, so it will be added. Okay, this will be added. Then coming to the next one, subscription received in advance as on thirty first of March two thousand fifteen. So this year's advance. So now this year, if you are receiving advance, so it will be relating to next year, so it will be deducted. Right? It will be deducted. Okay. So <clears throat> these are the treatment in the income and expenditure account. So after that, what is told is ascertain the amount of income from subscription for the year 2014-15, and show the relevant items of subscription appearing in the opening and closing balance sheet. That we'll see later. First of all, we'll finish the income and expenditure part. Let's find out what is the income. So what is our base? The total that is the subscription received as per the receipts and payment account two lakh fifty thousand. So let's start. So we'll start with that subscription received as per the receipts and payment account. It is. 
टू लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके इट इज टू लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो वी हैव रिटर्न सब्सक्रिप्शन रिसीव्ड एस पर रिसीव्स एंड पेमेंट अकाउंट टू लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज डन then let's see what are the add items we'll write first subscription outstanding on 31st march 2015 35000 add subscription outstanding on 31st march 2015 35000 added okay then what is the next add item here subscription received in advance on 14 2014 25000 that will come so add subscription received in advance on 14 2014 25000 it has come okay okay so after that once the item has been received then all the plus items are over then we'll go with the minus item all the plus items over then we'll go with the minus item what is there subscription outstanding on 14 2014 50000 that will be deducted so less subscription outstanding on 14 2014 50000 deducted right so what i will do is that as i have taught you i'll show you this uh, show these items in the inner column Okay, there is some page setup problem. So what I will do is I will put it in the bracket, and one by one I will show you. That will also be okay. There's no problem in that. So once deduction is done, it is two lakh sixty thousand. Then coming to the next item, that is subscription received in advance on one thirty first March when fifteen, that is thirty thousand. That will also be deducted. So less subscription received in advance on thirty first March when fifteen, thirty thousand. That also will be deducted. Right. so coming to that after that it comes 2 lakh 30000 this is nothing but income from subscription for the year 2014-15 okay income from subscription for the year 2014-15 2 lakh 30000 okay this is what will be shown in the income and expenditure account i'll just mark it income and expenditure account this is how it will be shown then let's see what is the treatment that will be shown in the balance sheet in the opening balance sheet and the closing balance sheet as a whole we can do at a time let's find out first thing here what is the first item the subscription that is received in the receipts and payment account so it will not come anywhere because it is just a part of the cash book so it will not come in the opening or the closing balance sheet we have to see what is the next one subscription outstanding on 1 4 2014 So it is last year's outstanding, right? So last year's outstanding that means it will come in the opening balance sheet, opening balance sheet, okay? Because it is last year's outstanding. मतलब last year का पैसा जो receive करना बाकी था तो ये last year का asset था इसी के लिए opening balance sheet, clear? The subscription outstanding on 31st March 2015. This year's outstanding that means this will be coming under closing balance sheet, right? closing balance sheet because this is current year's outstanding okay then again subscription received in advance on 14 2014 last year ka advance tha so last year ka advance mila matlab last year ka kya tha asset or liability liability right because it was last year's liability so last year's liability means what will happen last year's liability means it will be coming in the opening balance sheet first thing it will come in the opening balance sheet Which side? Remember, it will come in the liability side because advance tha, right? Here it will come in the asset side because it is asset. This will also come in the asset side because it is asset, right? Let me just adjust it. Okay, I'll just uh, making an adjustment here. so there will be no problem with the space okay so that is the thing now one more thing um it will come in the opening well yeah then coming to the next one subscription received in advance on 31st march 2015 matlab is saal ka hai na right so again this will come in the this will come in the closing balance sheet okay this will come in the closing balance sheet liability side why it will come in the closing balance sheet liability side because this year's advance that means 
this year's advance money is raised to next year money so if i receive any income in advance income received in advance is a liability that is why it is becoming in the liability side and why closing liability because this year's liability so closing liability this was last year's liability so it will be coming in the opening liability opening balance sheet liability set clear clear now what we will do we will prepare the opening balance sheet first so first of all as you prepare the opening balance sheet we will see what is there what will come in the asset side subscription outstanding 50000 no need to mention the date and again what will come in the liability side subscription received in advance on 14 2014 two things so let's see opening balance sheet balance sheet as on 31st march they are giving it 31st march it is referring to 1st of april okay it is referring to 1st of april there's no problem in that okay don't get confused because this is relating to the same thing same concept the conception is same here so let's see what is there subscription received in advance will be in the liability side 25000 and subscription outstanding of 50000 will be in the asset side this is how it is replaced in the opening balance sheet this is nothing but the opening balance sheet okay now let's see what will be coming in the closing balance sheet in the closing balance sheet we you know what are the items we are getting first is subscription outstanding 35000 and the liability side will be subscription received at advance 30000 so let's see closing balance sheet it's the closing balance sheet what is there so in the in the asset side we have subscription outstanding 35000 and in the liability side we have subscription received in advance okay subscription subscription received in advance 30000 yeah. this is how it will be placed okay i hope all of you have understood this is how subscription received in advance the current year will be placed in the liability side 30000 and subscription outstanding of 35000 will be put, put placed in the asset side no need to do the totaling nothing to do the balancing there's no balancing in the balance sheet so don't do that and only a total uh, total don't know no need to do the totaling also let it be as it is okay this you are going to keep it like this and here you are going to write down income and exp uh, income from subscription for the year ended 2014-15 you can mention in the bracket income and expenditure account okay this is how it will be treated subscription will be treated in the receipts and payment account so yeah subscription will be treated in the income and expenditure account i hope all of you have understood the class and you have enjoyed it in the next video we'll learn more about this uh, subscription as well as we'll be learning some, about some additional um, items also till then take care of your studies take care of yourself and have a good time bye bye